Hello everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of secret or hidden features that are there on a Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Now to demonstrate all these features, I'll be using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. But as long as your Samsung phone is running One UI version 3.1 and above, you can watch this video because the features are going to be identical no matter what Samsung phone you've got. Also, the wallpaper is my very own click. You can download this wallpaper from the link in the video description. All right, so without wasting any time, let's get started. So a lot of you guys already might know that Samsung introduced widgets on the lock screen starting with One UI version 3. So on the lock screen, if you tap on the clock, that opens up widgets on the lock screen. You don't even need to unlock the phone for this. But here is something that a lot of people don't know of. If you have the always on display turned on, you can also access the lock screen widgets from the always on display. And the way you do that is by double tapping the clock and then swiping down and that opens up the widgets on the always on display. So from over here, you can control the music player. You have the digital well-being widget, weather widget, today's schedule, and the next alarm. So this is an absolutely amazing hidden feature. These are widgets on the always on display. When you have a Bluetooth headset connected to the phone, the audio is going to play back on the Bluetooth headset rather than your phone's internal speaker. Now, say for example, you want to watch a video or listen to a song with your friend and you want the audio to be played back on the phone's internal speaker. So how do you switch the audio output from the Bluetooth headset to the phone's internal speaker? Well, it is very easy. Drop down the notification panel and expand audio output and select this phone. That changes the audio output from the Bluetooth headset or a Bluetooth speaker back to the phone's internal speaker without actually disconnecting the Bluetooth device. And now if I play that same video again, the audio of that video is going to play back on the phone's internal speaker. It is that easy. So this saves you a lot of hassle of disconnecting and reconnecting the Bluetooth headset because I've seen a lot of people actually going through the hassle of switching the Bluetooth headset off and then switching it back on again and reconnecting it with the phone. With this little secret feature, you no longer have to do that. By the way, you can also switch the audio output by tapping on the media button. If you don't see this media button over here, expand the drop down notification panel and you'll see the media button over here. Tap this button and it will take you to this page. And once again, from over here, you can switch the audio output from the Bluetooth headset back to the phone's internal speaker without disconnecting the Bluetooth headset. Okay, so I'm gonna ring up the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and watch what happens. So check it out, the camera LED is flashing, letting me know that there is an incoming call coming on the phone. So this feature is called flash notifications. It flashes the camera LED whenever there's an incoming call or a new notification on the phone. Awesome feature, right? And yes, it also works for standard text messages. I'm gonna send myself a text message and the camera LED will flash, letting me know that there's a new notification on the phone. Anyways, let me show you how to enable this feature. All right, so all you have to do is drop down the notification panel, go to settings, then scroll down to accessibility, then open up advanced settings. Under notification, you have flash notifications. And from over here, you can turn on the camera flash notification and the phone will flash the camera LED whenever you get an incoming call or any other notification on your phone. Very useful when you have to keep your phone completely silent, including the vibrations being turned off. Now, inside the same advanced settings menu, inside accessibility, there's also another feature called time to take action. Now, this feature allows you to increase the duration of the notification that pops up on the screen. So by default, I think the duration is about five seconds. So the message pops up over here and after about five seconds, it disappears. But if you want a slightly longer duration, you can set this to 10 seconds or even 30 seconds. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to set this to 30 seconds and send myself a text message. And one more thing that you will also notice is that this also increases the duration of the edge lighting. So now the edge lighting will stay on for 30 seconds. As you can see, it is still going. So the thing is, you can use this feature for two things. Number one, increasing the duration of the notifications. And number two, to increase the duration of the edge lighting on your phone. Oh, and one more thing that you should keep in mind is that this feature also increases the duration of the volume panel. So now the volume panel will stay on the screen for 30 seconds 
unless you dismiss it manually. Amazing, right? It just blows my mind to see how many features these phones really have. So there is a feature in the gallery that a lot of people don't know about. And this feature allows you to scroll through your photos and videos full screen in the gallery. So by default, if you don't enable this feature, you kind of get these black borders at the top and the bottom of the screen. So how do you enable full screen scrolling? Well, tap on these three dots and go to settings. Then enable full screen scrolling from over here. If you don't see this option, you might not be running the latest version of the gallery. So go to about gallery and update the gallery to the latest version. The version 12.1.07.5 has this feature. And once you update the gallery, you will be able to see this feature called full screen scrolling. And this feature is awesome, kind of gives you a more immersive view in the gallery while you are scrolling through your photos and videos. Now, since we are already in the gallery, let me show you something. You might have noticed the menu that pops up whenever you press the share button in the gallery. Now this menu contains a list of applications and actions that you can use to share a photo, video or pretty much any file on your phone. Now say for example, I want to share this photo on Snapchat, but I don't really see Snapchat on the top over here. To locate Snapchat, I will actually have to scroll all the way down and there is Snapchat over there. It's kind of tedious, especially if you have a lot of applications installed on your phone. So here's a tip for you guys. You can actually pin any of these icons at the top of the list. You can do that by long pressing an icon and select pin. I'm going to do it for Snapchat. So pin Snapchat. So now, as you can see, Snapchat icon will be pinned at the top of the screen, making it a lot easier to share photos or videos with Snapchat because that icon will always be on the top no matter what. Trust me guys, pin apps will make your life a lot easier. Samsung has just added a new feature in the built-in photo editor and I think many of you guys will not know about this. So let me show you. Open up a picture in the gallery, then press on the pencil icon to go into the photo editor. Then tap on these three dots and you will see a new option called color mix. So this lets you tweak the individual colors in the photograph. So for example, I want to tweak the red color in this photograph. What I can do is tap on the red color. Otherwise, I can tap on the eyedropper icon and tap on the color in the photograph that I want to edit. And this will allow you to decrease or increase the saturation, change the hues of that particular color. So that's pretty awesome. I think the red color was oversaturated. Now it looks perfect. Now, if you don't see the color mix option in this menu, most likely you will need to update the photo editor. So tap on about photo editor and just update to the latest version to get the color mix feature on your Galaxy phone. So I will tap on the update button and we will wait for the phone to download and install this. Okay, so once the photo editor has been updated, I can go back into the photo editor, tap on these three dots and I have the color mix option over here. So this is an awesome tool, lets you tweak individual colors inside a photograph. Now, let me show you a secret feature of the built-in photo editor which was introduced with One UI version 3.1 and it's called the Object Eraser Tool. Okay, so as you can see in this photo, the flag is right in the middle and I want to erase this. So tap on the pencil icon to go into the built-in photo editor. Then tap on these three dots and select Labs. And from over here, turn on this feature called Object Eraser. So this unlocks a secret feature called the Object Eraser tool and you can tap this icon, then tap or draw around anything you want to erase. So if you want to erase this flag, let me zoom in. Let me also try and tap this. All right, so now I'm going to tap on Erase and bam, there you go. The Object Eraser tool has erased the flag from the photo and now the photo looks good. So there you have it. That's how the object eraser tool works. And this will also allow you to erase people. So in this photograph, there are three people. Tap on the pencil icon and select the object eraser tool. And now I'm going to tap on these people and erase them from the photograph. Now it's not perfect. You will see some imperfections. It's not like Photoshop. For complex images like this, it will mess up the photograph. But yeah, you can't even tell from a distance. Now, unfortunately, the object eraser tool is only available on newer phones like the Galaxy S20, the Note 20 and the Galaxy S21 series. These older phones like the Galaxy S10 and the Note 10 will not get the object eraser tool. 
So as you can see, the built-in image editor on the S10 Plus does not have that lapse option even though we are running the latest version of the image editor. So unfortunately, it's only exclusive to the newer phones starting from the Galaxy S20 series. Okay, so when you press and hold the power button, you get three options, power off, restart and emergency mode. Now there's a fourth hidden option that you can enable and it is called lockdown mode. So what does lockdown mode actually do? Well, glad you asked. Usually the way we lock our phones is by hitting the power button. Now the thing is, you can instantly unlock your phone using your fingerprint or the face recognition. The problem is, if you have a suspicious spouse or naughty friends, they can easily unlock your phone while you are sleeping using your thumb or your face. If you lock your phone using the lockdown mode, that will disable all the biometrics. So you will not be able to unlock your phone using your fingerprint or the face recognition. You will actually have to swipe up then enter your pin and finally the phone will unlock so that will prevent your suspicious spouse or your naughty friends from unlocking your phone while you are sleeping using your fingerprints let me show you how to enable lockdown mode so drop down the notification panel and go to settings then scroll down to lock screen then tap on secure lock settings enter your pin now over here enable the fifth option which says show lockdown option and that will enable the fourth hidden option in the power off menu, lockdown mode. It is as easy as that. Again, it disables all of the biometrics of the phone. So next time when you unlock, it will require your pin. Typing out long text messages can be very tedious, but Android includes a fantastic speech to text tool that will convert your spoken words into plain simple text as you can see, it's happening in real time. How awesome is that? And this is being typed out in plain text, so you can copy and paste this wherever you want. So the thing is, it becomes very, very easy to type out super long messages because you can just give dictation to your phone and the phone will type out whatever you say in plain text. Amazing feature, right? So this feature is called Live Transcribe and let me show you how to enable this. But first, let me show you how to copy and paste this dictation. So all you have to do is long press and just highlight the part that you wanna copy just like this and I'm gonna select copy. And now I can paste that text wherever I want. If I want to paste it in Samsung Notes, I can do that. So long press and paste. And as you can see, that pastes the text that we copied in the live transcribe application. And because this is in plain text, you can paste this dictation wherever you want, even in regular text messages. So I can just long press and paste as plain text. That's it. That's how easy it is. Let me show you how to enable this feature. Okay, so on your phone, drop down the notification panel and go to settings. Scroll down to accessibility and then tap on hearing enhancements. Over here, tap on live transcribe and enable this feature. Tap on got it. You might wanna double check the settings to make sure everything is properly configured. And opening up live transcribe is very easy. You use two fingers and swipe up like this if you are using gestures and that opens up live transcribe. So this feature will help you give long dictations to your phone it makes typing out super long messages really, really easy. Awesome feature, right? So I guess that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like this video, guys. That helps out a lot because I don't know, YouTube hasn't been seeding out my videos to a lot of viewers. That's why I'm seeing a drop in my views. But anyways, watch this video, share, like and share subscribe that helps out a lot and do follow me on my social media accounts i'll put all the links in the video description check this out it's still um typing out whatever i'm saying anyways guys thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more videos like these and i'll see you guys next time